Next question is from just a girl in her Jeep. Should I use a weight belt or just work on strengthening my core and proper breathing? Yeah, very, very similar, similar question. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, <laughs> if, same answer if you're going to use a belt in competition, then you're going to want to train with a belt because it's a specific skill and it's a specific core recruitment pattern. Everybody else avoid belts. By the way, this is coming from someone who uses heavy, uh, a weight belt when I do heavy deadlifts or squats. Why do I use a belt for heavy deadlifts and squats? I did it for so long that I don't feel like taking two years out of my training to train myself to not use it. That's literally how long it'll take. I've yeah. been training since I was a kid. And when I was, I think I was 15 or 16, that's the story I talk about when I ran into those power lifters. And they're the ones that, oh, you got to use a belt or whatever. So then from 16 till you know now, I've been using this belt and I've gone through stints without, without using it. And I know it would literally take me a couple years of training without a belt and I don't care at this point. But to the average person, you're better, way better off developing the type of core stability that you need to train without a belt. And it's different. When your core braces without a belt, it's a different recruitment pattern mm -hmm. than when it braces with a belt. When it braces with a belt, it pushes out against the belt. That does not do that well, when you don't have the belt Well, it's interesting you say that because I'm probably in the opposite uh, uh, where I've actually done. It's been maybe since high school where the last time I've really like trained with a belt and like heavy mm -hmm. squats and um, like I feel like I've lost that ability to uh, brace that way by pushing out. And so like that would be like so unnatural for me that it would like take me forever to go through the process of, you know, like working in that, uh, you know, when I squat. So uh, I think, again, this is this is uh, one of those things like if, if you're competing with it, it makes sense. Um, and it's, it's just at one of those things. I don't think that you need it if you train and develop it all the way up without one. But um, there's, again, there's places for it. Yeah. yeah. This is the same answer for me as the last question. Um, again, I, you, the last time I used a belt, you probably can look back on my Instagram and actually see, cause I would put, do post of showing the audience like, Hey, I'm using a belt today just yeah. to test my strength. Right. Um, I don't care about that right now. I'm not trying, I'm nowhere near my top strength on any of my lifts right now. So I haven't used a belt in whatever that post is. I'm going to guess it's been well over a year or two since I've probably used it. Um, but again, intermittently, I use that just like straps. There was, there's been times when same, just like my shoes, uh, for the most part, 90% of my training is, you know, flat shoes and, or, or barefoot and strapless and beltless. But all four of those things I utilize occasionally. And a lot of times I do it because purely for ego, I want to see what I can put up that day. I want to see if I have a little bit of support underneath my uh, my heels so I don't so my, it doesn't stress my ankle mobility as much. I got plenty of room. Uh, I want to feel that. Uh, sometimes I want to throw the belt on and maybe stack an extra 50 pounds on there just to feel that heavy ass weight. Sometimes I lifted really, really heavy the day before. My forearms are fried, but I still want to rip deadlifts and I get the straps out. But yep. very, very... Rarely, especially right now, since my goals are not geared around aesthetics or strength really right now. It's more about health. Um, and then back to a point one of you made already, I've never had a client utilize a belt or straps. I've only had now, a couple. Yeah, yeah, now you've done a lot of work with your ankle mobility and that's been more secure and you're, you got the depth to go with that and everything. Now, in, in terms of each one of those aids, which one do you think now after putting work in uh, you'd probably see the most help from that aid versus maybe one doesn't have quite as much of an impact. Ooh, that's a really interesting question. Um, and it, one, I think we would have to first break down the lift, right? So if we were depends talking, on the lift, huh? Right. Yeah. yeah. So like if it's a deadlift, the belt, it's gotta right, be or the right. straps. Yeah. The straps. Yeah. yeah. Arguably the straps. Cause I'd say right now, my limiting factor of doing 400 pounds would not be my core or back. It would be my, my hands mm -hmm. probably couldn't hold 400 pounds right now, but I think my back and hamstrings and glutes are strong enough. Um, the, the, uh, the shoes are big, were way bigger than I ever thought. Sal introduced me to, uh, yeah, heels. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he got Ironically, me. the he yeah. introduced heels of the shoe guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I had never, I had never used squat shoes in my life before. This is where this is pre Adam knows he has a ankle mobility 
problem, right? So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't recognize it yet. And I thought, well, that's so weird. What, what why are these help? I did it, and I was like, whoa, I felt so much more comfortable. Mm -hmm. But that also what, what led me to realize, like, oh shit, I have an issue with ankle mobility because yep. all he did was raise my heels up, and all of a sudden the squat felt Same better. Same here. I did him, mm -hmm. and I'm like, why am I squatting better? I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's why I have flat feet. So now, when I actually, so to get to your point, Justin, if I go back, like let's say squatting right now, because I can get really good deep a depth barefoot right now, pretty comfortably. It does feel a little more comfortable with with uh, with squat shoes because you obviously have I have even more room, uh, but it doesn't. I don't feel like it. Like I'm not adding any more weight really yeah. anymore because of the heels. Where in the past the squat shoes would I could be, add more weight because right. of the squat shoes. Not anymore. Okay. The belt though, uh, I can still get probably another 25 pounds up because of that. And so that would help me in squatting big time. Actually, so I feel the belt, you brought up deadlifting. The belt helps me more with squatting. Uh, the straps would help me more with deadlifting. Mm -hmm. for the, so, um, But very minimal, and I don't care now, so I don't actually use any of them ever right now. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.